Hey loved ones, welcome. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make organic aloe vera gel at home. First lesson, don't spill it in your eye during application. Let's get started. To begin, you will need a cutting board, a fork, a spoon, a knife, a bowl, a glass container to store the product, a preservative. I am using vitamin D oil. I bought a bottle of vitamin D gels from the local market. You may use vitamin E and orange essential oil. And of course, aloe vera leaves. You may have a plant in your garden, but I bought my leaves from the local market. First, I will start by slicing the leaf into smaller sections. Now, I will take the knife and slice one side of the aloe leaf skin completely off. You should see the beautifully glossy gel inside the leaf. Aloe vera gel is a natural skin moisturizer that may make your skin soft and smooth. It may solve lots of skin problems like acne, pimples, blemishes, sunburn, stretch marks, skin itching and irritation, etc. With regular use, it may also reduce signs of skin aging. Aloe vera gel is a fantastic natural hair conditioner that may leave your hair soft, sexy, and silky. It may also promote hair growth and stimulate the scalp to solve problems of dandruff and hair loss. Now, with the spoon, I am scooping out all of the gel into the bowl. You will see different textures of gel, some more solid and some more liquid gel textures. This part of the process is really fun if you like the feel of wet and slimy textures on your fingers. I certainly like the feel of a good gooey. It is time to use the fork to beat down the solid gel until all of the gel is liquid. The time and amount of effort it takes varies. This definitely counts as an arm exercise. <laughs> Great. Now we can add the preservative. I am using three vitamin D capsules. I am poking a hole in the capsule and squirting all over the gel. Remix the gel to spread all of the new ingredient throughout. Remember, do not ingest the gel. It is for skin and hair only. All right. Now, let's pour this aloe vera gel into its glass container which will aid in its preservation. Be sure to seal the lid tightly before refrigeration. Your aloe vera gel may last up to three weeks. Thank you for watching and making aloe vera gel with me. Subscribe to my channel to enjoy a dynamic range of videos of my lifestyle. Per usual, I invite you to like and share your thoughts in the comments below.